The Enchanted Rose Once upon a time in the kingdom of Evergreen, there was a beautiful princess named Serafina who had a kind and gentle heart. She possessed a rare gift of being able to communicate with animals, which made her beloved by all creatures of the kingdom. Serafina spent her days exploring the enchanted forest, where talking birds and magical creatures would often accompany her. In a neighboring kingdom called Azuria, there lived a handsome prince named Sebastian. He was known for his bravery and chivalry, always putting the needs of others before his own. However, Sebastian carried a heavy burden a curse had been placed upon him that turned him into a beastly creature when the last petal of an enchanted rose fell. One fateful day. Serafina followed the melodious tunes of a singing bird deep into the forest, where she stumbled upon a hidden castle. Intrigued, she stepped inside, only to find herself surrounded by enchantments and trapped within the castle walls. Unbeknownst to Serafina, the castle belonged to none other than Prince Sebastian. As Serafina explored the castle, she discovered a magnificent rose garden, where a single rose, its petals vibrant and glowing, caught her attention. Serafina approached the enchanted rose cautiously, sensing its immense power. As she reached out to touch it, the beast appeared before her, startling her. Sebastian, the cursed prince, locked eyes with Serafina and saw kindness and compassion shining in her gaze. This encounter gave him a glimmer of hope that maybe, just maybe, this young princess could be the one to break the curse. Days turned into weeks, and Serafina and Sebastian spent their time together, slowly unraveling each other's stories and forming a deep connection. Serafina learned about the curse and the dire consequences that awaited if she couldn't break it in time. Determined, Serafina embarked on a quest to find the legendary sorceress of the Seven Moons, known for her wisdom and magic. She traveled through treacherous mountains, crossed murky swamps, and endured countless challenges, all while receiving guidance from the talking animals who had become her closest friends. Finally, after a long and arduous journey, Serafina reached the hidden realm where the sorceress dwelled. Impressed by Serafina's pure heart and determination, the sorceress gave her a potion created from the tears of a phoenix, the petals of an interstellar flower, and the moon dust collected under a full moon. With this potion, Serafina was granted the power to break the curse. Returning to the castle, Serafina found the beast weakened, his last petal about to fall. She gently poured the potion over the enchanted rose, and as she did so, the curse was lifted. The beast transformed back into Prince Sebastian, his true form restored. Overwhelmed with gratitude, Sebastian took Serafina's hands in his and thanked her for breaking the curse that had plagued him for so long. Their love blossomed, and they ruled their kingdoms together, bringing prosperity, peace, and harmony to the land of Evergreen and Azuria. And so, the tale of the enchanted rose and the union of two noble hearts became a fable told throughout the realms, a reminder of the power of love, bravery, and the willingness to see beyond appearances. The Moonlit Palace once upon a time, in a faraway kingdom, there existed a magnificent palace where the moon's rays danced upon the shimmering walls every night. Within its halls, there lived two princesses and two princes who were destined to embark on a remarkable journey that would shape their lives forever. Princess Serafina, with her flowing golden locks and eyes the color of sapphires, possessed a heart full of compassion and a gentle spirit. Her younger sister, Princess Isabella, had chestnut curls and emerald green eyes, fiery and adventurous by nature. At a tender age, they both lost their parents. But their love for each other and their kingdom only grew stronger. Prince Alexander, with his charismatic smile and chivalrous nature, was known for his bravery and unwavering loyalty. On the other hand, Prince Gabriel, his mischievous younger brother, had a twinkle in his eyes and an uncanny ability to make everyone laugh with his playful jokes. One fateful night, as the clock struck midnight and the moon reached its zenith, the siblings found themselves drawn towards the enchanting song of a hidden melody floating through the halls of the palace. They followed its ethereal sound down a secret passageway, leading them to a forgotten chamber, 
buried beneath layers of dust. In the center of the chamber stood an intricately carved pedestal, upon which rested a small, glimmering crystal orb. Mesmerized by its beauty, the siblings reached out simultaneously, their hands touching the orb and merging their essences together in a blinding flash of light. As their vision cleared, they found themselves transported to a magical realm, far beyond the boundaries of their own kingdom. Standing before them was an ancient fairy, wise and elegant, who revealed herself as Luna. She explained that they were chosen by the celestial forces to restore balance to the realm, which had fallen into darkness and despair. To fulfill their quest, each sibling was bestowed with a unique gift. Serafina received the power of healing her touch able to mend even the deepest wounds. Isabella gained the ability to communicate with animals, who would guide and aid them on their journey. Alexander was granted strength, beyond measure, while Gabriel's words would hold the power to unite and inspire. Together, they traversed treacherous forests, scaled towering mountains, and crossed vast oceans. Along the way, they encountered mythical creatures, endangered civilizations, and vanquished ancient curses. Each challenge tested their resilience, yet their bond and determination never faltered. Their reputation as valiant heroes soon spread throughout the land, reaching the ears of the tyrant ruler who had plunged the realm into darkness. This menacing sorcerer, known as Malachi, possessed immense power and an insatiable hunger for dominion. In their final showdown, the siblings faced Malachi in the heart of his forbidding castle. With the combined strength of their gifts, they fought valiantly against the darkness that threatened to consume them all. As the battle reached its peak, it was Gabriel's unwavering words that broke through Malachi's defenses, touching the depths of his lost soul. Overwhelmed by remorse, Malachi surrendered, allowing the light to once again embrace the realm. The siblings' sacrifices and bravery not only saved the land but also restored hope and prosperity to its people. With their task fulfilled, Luna appeared before them once more, praising their courage and selflessness. In a burst of celestial light, the siblings were returned to their palace, forever transformed by their extraordinary adventure. From that day forward, the kingdom thrived under the care of these valiant heroes. Serafina's healing brought solace to the sick, Isabella conversed with animals, ensuring harmony between humans and nature. Alexander's strength protected the realm from external threats, while Gabriel's inspiring words united the hearts of the people. And so, the moonlit palace became a symbol of hope and unity, where princesses and princes proved that the greatest power lies not in magic or strength alone, but in love, courage, and selflessness.